You remember going out into the forest, finding your friend and leaving, but nothing about Azoth 1 or me. Good. Let's get all this sappy shit out of our heads. How do we do this? You got a pen we can look at? <laughs> Here come the men in black. They won't let you remember. Oh. Here come the men in black. <laughs> Galaxy defenders. <laughs> Oh, that was that was inappropriate. <laughs> How is it going, guys? My name is Wonty Bennett, and welcome back to yet another episode of Pokemon Academy Life. Now, this one might be a bit of a weird one, because uh, I am currently running off of about an hour's sleep. That's right, I am off the back of yet another night shift. Now, when I have a night shift, normally I get the chance to have maybe an hour's, two hours, sometimes more sleep during the shift. And if I do... The next day, I just get to live my day normally and carry on as if nothing happened. Uh, <laughs> but unfortunately, that didn't happen. So I've decided that in order to keep my schedule fine and dandy and right as rain, I need to stay awake for as long as possible. So I got maybe an hour's nap while I was at work, and now I'm just staying up until about 10 o'clock tonight. Uh, and fun fact, I actually have a date later, so I'm going to a date completely overtired, and that's going to be hilarious. Uh, second fun fact, it's also hay fever season, so yeah, this is, uh, this is a great day for Mr. Wonty Burnett, but we're going to make the best of it. I apologise if I have to make some weird cuts, so uh, future editing Alex, I apologise. Um, and yeah, let's, let's have a fun time, so let's get back into Covacon. Wakey wakey, eggs and bakey, time to get up and drink the coffee I makey. <laughs> I really like that, I think that's really funny. <laughs> I saw that and I'm like, yeah. If someone ever made me like a, a cup of coffee in the morning with like a rhyme like that, I'd, I'd just be like, yeah, okay, marry me. Just, just fucking marry me. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Because I know way that I know there's no way my roommate Leaf Gracidia Green is waking up at this time of the day. Oh, I woke up even earlier, sleeping beauty. And why shouldn't I? Today's a big day. Oh yeah? How'd you figure? Why don't you give it your best guess and I'll tell you if you're right, lad. Don't you call me lad. That's only what Professor Oak can call me. Hello, lad. How are you? <laughs> oh, are we not there yet? Not at the I imitate your 60-year-old best friend level? Okay, so she was trying to imitate him. Okay. No, we're there. I'm just genuinely disturbed by how accurate it was. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of the best. Get dressed and meet me in the suite. Sure. Wait, how do you know I'm not dressed already? Oh, that would be the cameras I planted all around your room. I'm calling the cops. They'll never catch me alive. You hear Leaf leave the door. <laughs> you spend a little bit of time looking through your possessions just to make sure there aren't actually any cameras, but immediately feel bad for doing so. Hmm, no keyhole on the door. I guess she was just joking. We got you. <laughs> no, she's, I don't know, she's, she's made a, a hole in the wall or something. <laughs> she's just peering through like, I see you. <laughs> Alex, it's an important day today. Can you guess what it is? Are we going on a date today? National Straw Hat Day? Your birthday? I think it's her birthday. I'm gonna check the social, just to make sure. It doesn't tell me wh wh when her birthday is. I also have three I have a right hand scene. Yuck. It doesn't tell me when people's birthdays are. Damn it, I thought it would. If I knew that information, I thought it would show it. Uh... Uh, this is why I'm bad in relationships. I, I forget shit like this all the time. Um, your birthday? I don't want to say it if it's... You know, I'm going to make the joke. National Straw Hat Day. Huh? No, that's weird. What are you talking about? It's a thing. I swear. Look it up. <laughs> huh. I guess it is. Maybe I should get one for myself then. Like, to celebrate the holiday. Anyway, no, that's not it. We've been talking about it enough. I've made plans. We're gonna go into the city today. I've got everything sorted out, so don't worry about it. 
Thanks. This is actually only my second date ever, so uh, I appreciate you taking the lead here. I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen. Oh, Leaf, don't get jealous. Don't get jealous. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know why I did it. Huh? Your second date ever? How'd that happen? Blue. Oh. She's not concerned that it happened literally yesterday. <laughs> Me and Leaf have been talking about this date for months. And Ness is just like, hey, let's go. All right, let's go. <laughs> Blue. All right. Are you ready to go? Yeah, in a moment. Let me just slip into something more comfortable. Some new threads. Very flattering. You're not wearing your hat. I guess you aren't balding after all. Oh, you cocky prick. Come on, Alex. Let me at him. Just one quick shot to the nuts. That's all I need. Just one good rustling of the jimmies. One good plunder of the family jewels. Turn it into Denji. You don't need my permission for it. Whatever. What are you two doing? Going out to the city because we know how to get along. Yeah. You know, you were actually somewhat tolerable Monday night when we were playing Inferno and Logos. And when you asked if you can train my Dratini, I mean, you were almost polite. I misjudged you when I first met you like a month ago. I thought you were an insecure, swaggering little twerp who used too much hair gel back then. I know better than to assume this is actually going anywhere, but let's pretend. But now I get that you just act like an insecure, swaggering little twerp. But you still use too much hair gel. So my question is why? Why do you make being around you so difficult for everyone, even for yourself? I had some wild idea that maybe being dorm mates with you would make you easier to get along with, and then when I saw Yellow, I thought I finally got what you were all about. But now I'm back at square one. Well, maybe if you stop treating me like a game, you'll stop landing on the squares that send you back. Oh, damn, that was good. Did you come up with that one, or it was yellow? Or was it Yellow? I don't think that's important. It was Yellow. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to tell you that your Dratini's doing fine. Gained a bunch of experience. Strong-willed little worm, but we're getting along well. Not used to dealing with such a prideful Pokemon, though. Oh? Does, um, she talk about me? What are you talking about? Well, you always train with Yellow. I, I thought maybe you know how she feels about me. I don't know. Maybe Yellow does. You can ask her. Yeah, maybe when she gets back. Back? Back from where? Uh, I don't know. She just grabbed some coffee this morning and left. I think she said she was looking for something. Yeah, what's she doing? What, did you have plans? Look at that little blush. Look at that blush on his face. They was going for a picnic. Ooh. Oh my god, you totally did. Shut up! We were just going on a picnic as a way of me apologizing or... Whatever, for, you know, what happened last Wednesday? What happened? Oh, right, y you weren't there for that. Uh, Yellow, he doesn't need to know. I'll tell you what Yellow's doing right now if you let Leaf finish. Like you know. Why would I lie about this? Actually, better, y better question. What makes you think I could lie about this? You were around for the past week, right? Pierre, Ethan's got the same power as you and he lies all the time. What? No, he doesn't. Yep. You're right, I'm just lying for no reason. Looks like you got me, detective. Well done. <laughs> Whatever. Yellow's gone to look for a picnic spot. Apparently you get in fights with other picnickers too often for her to trust you to do it yourself. She said that? Not those exact words. Since you're so nosy about it, this whole picnic thing is happening because she blew up at me. She said we never get to do what she wants. Well, apparently what she wants to do is go to hike out in the woods and send some run leaves and eat some... Eat some... Wait. No. She wouldn't have, would she? Wait, you don't think she went into the forest, do you? Most of our picnics before have been in forests. She really likes them. But I don't think that... I mean, we've had announcements every damn day. Every day this week, the deans grabbed the intercom and told us that entry into the forest is, prohi is prohibited. She wouldn't just blow that off, would she? Wait, she's in the nurse course, right? Yellow was helping me talk to Tia yesterday, and I think she mentioned that. Yeah, fully. So, she doesn't take elective classes? No. No! 
Wait, Janine doesn't take elective classes either? Wait, no, sorry. Wait, Janine doesn't take elective classes either. Remember what she said yesterday night? She didn't know that the forest had been reclosed. That means she never heard the announcement. Okay, hold on. Surely she must get an announcement at the end of her nurse course classes as well. I don't know. You don't know? No, I don't know. I know who would. Come on. I need to get my hat. I need to change my clothes. All right, get your stuff, then let's go. Nah, I wouldn't change my clothes. If I'm in, like, danger or a friend's in danger, I'm not stopping to get out of my fucking clothes. I'm going in whatever I've got now. I'm not wasting five minutes going to put on a comfortable pair of jogging bottoms. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's, that's not what I'd do. Hey, Tia. Tia smiles happily and signs a few simple words at you. Hi, Olive. Hi, Alex. Hi, Slappy. You decide not to tell Blue that Tia is still using his old nickname. I wonder what the, the Jotonian sign language for Slappy is. Is it literally... <laughs> Just whip. <laughs> Hi, smack. <laughs> that, yeah, that would be great. Hello, you three. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, we just had a bit of an odd question. For students in the nurse course, where are they at around 11am? Hmm, 11am? Well, they'd probably be in one of the recovery rooms, like this. You notice Blue's eyes immediately scanning the ceiling, looking for an intercom system. Okay, do the recovery rooms have an intercom system? No, not usually. We don't want an intercom going off and waking up a patient who's resting. However, medical personnel such as myself have always got an earpiece that we use to communicate with each other. It's whisper quiet, a wonderful piece of technology, I'd say. It was originally used on non-verbal patients, but found use amongst the caregivers, and... Well, I'm sure you'd rather not be bored by the medical history of oral enhancers. You're right, though, Alex. These are odd questions. Why do you ask? Every day this week, we've had an announcement after our first elective period that the homeroom is... Uh, that the forest is off-limits. Oh. So, when you went into the forest this week... No, no, I was allowed to. I had special permission from the disciplinary committee. Well, thank you for letting me know. There's another student out there, isn't there? Y no. <laughs> okay. But if there is, or you learn of one, you really should tell someone responsible. Yeah. What's up with him? He wants to save her. He doesn't want to let the fucking disciplinary committee get involved. I wouldn't trust Shiren as far as I can throw him. You and your dorm mates leave the infirmary swiftly. Hmm. Tia, I think they might be able to use your help. <laughs> What's that frown for? Surely she'd love an opportunity to come and hang out with us. We can't tell anyone yellow left. Why the hell not? Didn't you hear the announcements? Every damn time, Dean Drayden said that rule breakers will be expelled. You battled like a ton of people in front of the battle hall. Yeah, and Ethan was running interference then, and even if he failed, I'd be the one punished, but this is Yellow's school life on the line. I can't even claim I... I don't know, forced her out there. You know how impossible it is to defend her? She just gives up immediately. Heck, she'd turn herself in. Blue, it was an accident. Dean Drayden's reasonable, he'd understand. You'd expect him to understand because people understand you. They always do. That's your literal superpower. The rest of us have to actually work to convince people of shit. I... Blue, shut the hell up! We're on the same goddamn side. We're on the same goddamn team. We live in the same goddamn dorm. Stop whining! Stop complaining that no one wants to help you and just accept our help! I have been hearing people all week call me a freak, say I get stuff I don't deserve, even insult Flobodosh. Contrary to appearances, it is getting to me, and I don't need you putting on this act too. Sorry. I know you're under a lot of stress right now, too. Yeah. Let's, uh... Let's go. Hold on. We, we can't get started without a plan. That was kind of cool. I liked having my character actually get a bit angry there. As, you, as they've mentioned, he's kind of just, you know, been putting up with it. And not really doing anything to kind of assuage it. So it's kind of nice to see him, as, you know, display a little bit of emotion for once. From what I've been told of the Alex rescue team, that seems like your department. We're going to need to talk to two people before we get started. Your old roommate's blue. 
What, the fat guy in the photography nerd? Photography nerd? Fat guy? No. No, I couldn't be. What? Ah! Oh, you fuckers. <laughs> you fuckers. <laughs> you motherfuckers. Don't you tease me like that. Fucking Tierno and sh- Oh. <laughs> Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Maybe one day we'll see my boys come back. <laughs> Rest in peace, Trevor. <laughs> Rest in peace, Tierno. I miss your faces. That makes more sense. But why them? We need to make sure that we're doing this all above board. Alex, Blue was a little bit right. If we don't get permission to do this rescue ahead of time, then we might be in a lot of trouble when we get back. I already got permission from Charette earlier this week. Was it through the weekend? No. There we go then. Okay, what about Nate? Nate told Ethan that and I, that there's some sort of really powerful, dangerous Pokemon out there in the forest. He's been trying to get info on it, apparently the whole school year. That's how he justified trading off everyone else's information, anyway. I've seen him battle in my Electric-type classes, and I've got a hunch he could really help out. Also, he owes you one, Alex. Fine! Who do we go to first? I'll handle Nate, you handle Sharen. Blue, go back to the dorm and wake Ethan. We'll want him, too. Blue looks like he's about to argue, but just sighs and stomps his foot briskly before walking, walking off. Okay. Okay, is it like wrong of me to say that that was incredibly hard and I kind of want to see you yelling more? No. Don't say that. <laughs> My reaction exactly. We'll have to dissect that later. Yeah, okay. Meet you back at the dorm. We're never going to get this date with Leaf, are we? It's just not going to happen. You run, uh, you run briskly to the disciplinary committee's office, your mind racing with all the things you want to say to Shiren. And of course, all the things you probably should say. There is little overlap. I'ma punch him again. I'ma fucking punch him again. Alex. Shiren. Silver. What? <laughs> he didn't get the memo. <laughs> Nothing. I just didn't want to be left out. Is there something I can do for you? You assisted in rescuing Instructor Will. You managed to rescue Sabrina Natsume before our own efforts yielded any fruit. You even managed to rescue Bianca Vongole, or should I say Tia, as it seems she's more commonly called. By any fair metric, you're a hero. What further business does the Pikachu wielder, hero of Kobacon, have with us? The job's not done. Beg pardon? There's a student called Yellow out there in the forest. Oh, Yellow! I know her! Yeah, so do I. Everyone knows Yellow. So, you want to ask permission to take a rescue team out to find Yellow? Am I correct in your intention? Pretty much. Go. Huh? Just like that? You've rescued three others this week alone. It would be pointless to deny your skills and foolish to deprive myself of another way order might be restored to this school. That being said, we disciplinary committee members will of course go out and search for the missing student as well. I might suggest you form a team of like-minded individuals. You are good at that. One stop ahead. As expected. I would ask a favor. A favor? Yes, a favor. Only one. I would have you battle one of us. Your choice, a single battle. Battles are permitted in our office as long as we clean up after ourselves. This is not some sort of trick. Oh, uh, the, the, the primal temptation. Every single fucking time it gives me one of these options to tell Sharen to screw himself. But I know he's got a reason for this, so... Uh, I, I know he's weak. I know he's fucking weak, and I still want to smack, I still want to punch him in the face again, but I think Silver, I think I've got a lot to prove against Silver. Bring it on. I still don't know how to feel about this, this power, this frenergy, about you. Show me. Help me decide. Yeah, I think Silver's a good guy who did trust us, he's just a bit confused, right. so... Yeah, I don't see a reason why not. Right, I'm gonna Perish Song. And Shroud. Ooh, that's a new move. And then we're gonna... 
how are we going to do this? We've got Pokemon to switch out into. Let's go into Brutus. Bad breath. Became badly poisoned. Deadly poisoned. Okay. Uh, protect. And I'm going to switch back out into Barrow. As it misses its attack and dies to the Perish Sun. And there's a Grimer. Let's do the same again. Perish Song, Mother Flipper. You disabled my Perish Song. How dare you? How fucking dare you? So mean. Uh, let's go out to Eric. No, let's go out to Brutus. Switch to Brutus. Get really badly poisoned. Let's protect. And then switch back out to Barrow. Stall tactics, baby! <laughs> Apparently it's working. Sneasel. Okay. Sneasel are probably a bit easier to deal with, uh, just because I've got, obviously, Ivy with the Draining Kiss. I don't know what this thing has attack-wise, anyway. So I think probably going out into Eric is the, is the choice here. Yeah. And with Water Pulse. And Confuse Ray? Why am I Confuse Ray when it's already confused? I'm being silly. Uh, let's just go hard out into Ivy. And set up a Growth. Uh, Icy Winds me. Okay, that's fine. Draining Kiss. Wait, did it steal my item? I'm not holding an item. That's a scroopy. That's bug poison. Uh, how are we going to do this? Let's Ardent Gaze it. Leech Seed it. It's pin missling. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Growth. And again. And I think that might be enough to kill it with the Draining Kiss now. Yeah, nice. There we go. This is why we keep going with Ivy, baby. Right, Draining Kiss this mother flipper. Oh, in Shroud. Nice, Draining Kiss. And we actually haven't lost anything yet so far, but I don't want to speak too soon. This should die in one hit. And it does! Ivy is busted. I freaking love this confey. I expected better from myself. I'm sorry, my Pokemon. You all did really well. <clears throat> I've seen enough. You performed well, both of you. Alex, you may go. Be the man everyone thinks you are. Return home safely. Mm, I hate him so much. <laughs> you leave. Why did you want us to battle him, boss? Because that man is the greatest threat to this school's safety and security. A simple, kind-hearted man. But the sword he pulls from the stone can bring ruin, whether wielded by a kind man or a wicked man. Less bullshit metaphors, less more plain talk. I wanted to see if we had to fight him, if we could beat him. Verdict? Maybe, all three of us together. Oh, why are you being a dick? Why you do this? I need to heal. There you are. Blue and I already found our people. What's taking you so long? Sorry, Sharen wanted me to battle. Did you win? Duh. That's my dormy. Well, whatever. Let's... Wait. Isn't that... Yeah, come on, Sabrina. You can come with me. I'm surprised to see her here. I heard that someone was in danger. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have been listening. I, I just thought that maybe there was a chance that... You want to help? If... I mean, if you... How far does your mind reading reach? Oh, I'm several miles, if working through a pre-existing connection. Great! Can you reach out to Yellow? I've never talked to her before. Hmm. But do you have to be talking to the person to establish the connection? Couldn't you just, like, reach out and look for, like, sockets to connect to? No, that's not how my powers work. I mean, I don't think so. Might be worth a try? It's easy to establish connections closer to the target. Take Ryan. Yeah, it could take Nessa, Sonya, and Rosa too. They've all been into the forest before. They can guard you while you're trying to establish a connection. What? What's wrong? What if I, I get taken over again? I was out there for, for a week. I should be dead, shouldn't I? What, what if... Hey, if that happens, we'll just rescue you again. We? 
We? <laughs> we? <laughs> it won't happen again, though. Raihan and Sanya are really strong trainers. You'll be fine with them. Really? You're not talking up Rosa? I actually beat her in gym class a while ago. I know, it's the craziest thing. Okay. I'll, I'll try. Thanks, Sabrina. Oh, but make sure to get permission for Sharen. As long as you're with Raihan, though, you should be fine. And for what it's worth, I thought it was really screwed up what happened. Yeah, me too. She's so un... She's, like, she is the victim in all this, like, by far. Thank you. Yeesh. I get the heebie-jeebies talking with her. Why? Like, half of the conversation we just had was in my mind. Oh yeah, she does do that. She's nice, though. Really. Sure, not arguing that, but I kind of wish I could, like, put up a gate in my mind and only open it sometimes, you know? She probably wishes the same. Right? Alright, let's go back to the dorm. Let me heal! Eh? Mate? Man, why don't we ever get together to, like, binge bad movies or whatever? It's always rescue this person or save whatever day. We've been dorm mates for barely a week. And we played a game on Monday. LG gave me a sit rep. There's no denying that I owe you one, eh? And if a fifth student has disappeared in the forest, then I need to move. But this is a serious situation. There's real danger out there. Not necessarily the kind of danger a Pokemon battle can solve. What? You can't do it? I can. My Poke radar has been getting absolutely massive pings of psychic energy from the center of that forest. But there's some sort of interference blocking our path. I can't explain that, so I can't defend you from that. We can defend ourselves! I know you think you can. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Look, if a Pokemon attacked you directly, what would you do? What? What are you asking? I'd just battle it! No, B, I'm asking what would you do if a Pokemon attacked you directly? What would you do? I'd just... Uh, my, my Pokemon would protect me. Okay. Okay, tell you what, I could use some company in the forest. B, A, you guys come with me. Afraid I'm gonna have to ask you and MC Square to keep the bench warm though, LG. Keep the bench warm? Alex is the one who got permission from Sharen to even go out today, and it's my rescue mission. I'm operating under an authority a bit higher than C's, LG. And this isn't a rescue mission, it's an elimination mission. The Pokemon in the forest has been too much trouble for too long. It's the last day I have to deal with it. Rescuing Y isn't my priority. Securing the forest is. But I'll try to help you with your goal if you can assist me. Why are you giving me and Stamen the boot, though? Stamen. <sighs> Go on, give us more. G give us more puns. I'm waiting for Chloroplast or Mitochondria next. Battling isn't everything, but I do need the best battlers with me. Ouch. Oh, I'm s oh, I'm sorry. Am I sniffing glue? Or are you the only person here who isn't part of the battle team? Yeah, I'm not much of a team player. That's BS. What do you want me to do then? Just stay back here on campus and twiddle my thumbs? Tell Dean D to come out to the forest edge. And bring his daughter if possible. Huh? His daughter? It's really important. I feel like you're lying. Ugh, fine. I won't fight this. Well, I'm not gonna fight this at all. C can I just... Oh no, you don't, mister. You're joining me. Yeah, I saw that coming. Let's move. Let's go! Let's go! Rescue mission ahoy! You, Nate, and Blue head out to the forest. Although Nate leads the team up first, he eventually defers to your experience in the forest. You really seem to know this place. I've been here a few times, yeah. But it looks completely different from how it looked last time. You gonna let me skip the dungeon or nah? Uh, I guess not. This looks like where we battled those two kissing cousins! Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Don't make me bring back Adam Sandler. Yeah, seems like a long time ago. Hold on. It seems way too much like that, but that should have been close to the entrance. Is it really? Nate looks at these Poke Radar intently. Oh crap, that explains it. Huh? Okay, I'm just gonna need you to just step away from there, please. Sure. Come in, operator. Come in. 
B2 reporting. I'm 0 0.7 miles away from... No, no, sir. No, sir. Apologies, sir. No, sir. Imminent danger, sir. High potential for civilian casualties. Mysterious mysteriosity concentrations over 7.6 hails. Natural. No registered and known presence. Permission to utilize PWO5? Denied? Sir, there are actual people in actual danger here. We are in a mystery dungeon actively right now. No, no, of course not, sir. The, the permission to use BEM-774. I don't like working with 651, sir. Of course not, sir. Fine, fine. Ugh. One more day and I could have been out of here. You shouldn't eavesdrop, you know. What the hell was that? All of that? Just checking in with a friend. She knows a lot about Mystery Dungeons. Thought it might be helpful. Mystery Dungeons? We're in one right now. It's what you can call an area saturated in Mysteriosity. Mysteriosity is... I actually know what that is. Great, then you know it's extremely strange that there's so much of it so close to an urban area. I guess that's how the people in the dungeon managed to survive in here for so long. People in Mystery Dungeons don't get hungry or thirsty, just tired, and even then, that's only if they're moving around. What does this mean for Yellow? It means we need to hurry. Because she's going to fucking steal something from the Kecleon brothers. And we don't want to mess with the Kecleon brothers. <laughs> you rush further into the forest. Quietly, a voice begins to make its way to your ears. Pl please no, leave me alone. Ugh. That that wasn't move. Someone, please help. Here, the message psychic disturbance is right here. It's a fucking hypno. Okay, I think I get the situation now. Get away! Yep, no. B Blue, you're you're here again. Of course I am. And now I'm gonna turn this hypno into a greasy yellow stain all over those trees. W wait, uh, don't just just knock it out. It it doesn't. Alex, you're with me, right? Let's destroy this thing. Oh boy, I should probably make sure Blue doesn't commit a crime. Stay on guard. Remember, this is just a Pokemon. No matter what it looks like, that hypno isn't evil. Don't let be, you know. I'll tear you apart! That. Pikachu. Even Pikachu's like, what? <laughs> Even Pikachu's done with this shit. Alright, what level is this thing? Oh, it's Frenzy. Okay. I mean, could I just not click Perish Song right here and just win? Could I not just do that? Am I gonna... No, I've got, I've got, I'm gonna try and catch this. I've tried to catch, like, all of these so far, so... Barrow probably is my best bet. So... Oh, I'm controlling Blue's Pokemon too. Well, if that's the case, Hypno missed its hypnosis. Yeah, I think what we're just going to do is we're just going to pursue it for a while and try and get its accuracy as low as possible. Yeah, it's fine if Barrow goes to sleep. It's got bad dreams. Yo, this is a dark cry. <laughs> Sand attack. Repeatedly. We're just going to keep spamming this for a while. And for a little bit afterwards, I'm going to switch out into Ivy. Nice. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Let's get to minus six. Ah, damn. Okay. Pidgeotto has gone to sleep. Come on, Barrow. Wake up. Wake up, buddy. Wake up, buddy. Ah, it's hitting through minus four. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's just try and keep hitting it as much as we can. Come on, you can wake up. You can wake up. No, you can't. You're living on one. Let's go. All right, pursuit. Sun attack again. Barrow is asleep again. Pidgeotto's, uh, Pidgeotto's dead. Great. Oh, Blue's team's here. What, what have you got that's helpful? You got sand attack on the Eevee. Let's go. Right. Pursuit. Uh, sand attack. Why did Eevee use quick attack? Why did you use quick attack? Is it because you're above my level cap? Is that a thing? Maybe I misclicked. Maybe I misclicked. Oh well, let's get Ivy out here. Ardent Gaze this thing. So it's basically never going to hit us. And Sand Attack it again. Oh, Ivy's asleep, damn it. 
Okay, uh, we, we've just got to keep trying to go for this and uh, bite it. Okay. Ardent gaze. Bite again. Oh, this is so annoying. Uh, Ardent gaze. Bite it. Nice. Okay. I kind of want to just click a draining kiss on it here. And then go for a quick attack. It shouldn't kill. But it will put it in range for me to do this. And then just sand attack and see if we can just catch it. Great ball shakes. Ball shakes. Great ball breaks. Damn it. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's let's keep trying this. Uh, sand attack. Great ball. Shakes. Great ball. Shakes. Great ball. Shakes. Great ball. Cucks. Let's go. Eevee. Pokemon calmed down from its friends, but its forever all shattered. Wait, did I have to kill it to get its forever all? The Pokemon to send to the PC. Let's say... Oh, it's level 19. Hmm. Okay. And what's it set? Well, I've, I've sent it away anyway. Uh, it's going to be called... Oh, I don't want to... I had a thought of what to call this, but then I immediately checked myself. Um, because that would have just been really bad. It's also Adamant Nature. That's interesting. I think I'm going to call it David. Just David. Check regain EXP. Nice. Why did you catch the damn thing? I was pretty sure you were going to commit a felony if I didn't. <laughs> yeah, maybe. What? The massive psychic readings I was getting from this from part of uh, the massive psychic readings I was getting from this part of the forest are still here. What that means. Um. Yellow, are you alright? Did that hypno hurt you? N no, I just got lost a while. And while I was looking for a picnic spot, then this hypno jumped out from behind a tree and. You were crying. Oh, you know me. I'm a bit of a crybaby. Ah. That hypno, I, I think it was really upset, but I don't think it was really the hypno it felt more like someone was talking through it talking through it yeah and it was holding it forever alex did you notice i did yeah of course it uses the foreverals to whip those pokemon up into a frenzied state and then when they're suggestible controllable so hey instead of mumbling over there why don't you tell us what you were doing during this fight huh you talked big about not letting any subpar battlers go with you, but then you didn't even participate. What were you doing? What was I doing? Aiming. Huh? Whenever there's an invisible Pokemon in the area, it leaves a slight shimmer of light around it, like a heat haze. I first noticed it about two feet up and behind T. There's another one right there. What? Show yourself, as off one. Yo! Yo, it's my boy! So for those of you who know my podcast that I... Well, my podcast. The podcast I'm a co-host of. The Train Lounge podcast. Uh, I will leave some links to it down in the description. Maybe there'll be a little card in the top right-hand corner. Maybe. Uh, I revealed very recently that my favourite Pokemon isn't actually Bennett. It is, though, however, Deoxys. Because I just thought Deoxys was really cool. So... Let's fucking go. It must have picked up that trick after fighting T. What? 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 No. What? I'm not sure what you're asking. Is that a Pokemon? Is this another new Pokemon I've never heard of? The second in two weeks? It might be a Pokemon. Either that or an Ultra Beast. Yellow, stay behind me. This is the entity known as Azo Azoth One. Deoxys. Azoth-1, what are your intentions with this planet? Deoxys. They're... They're afraid. They're running from something. A bad person. Wait, isn't that what Tia said too? Deoxys. They're... They're being chased. Someone's trying to take their treasure. Is... What's your treasure, Azoth? Deoxys. Well... I... I don't understand. They're becoming agitated. Azoth-1, 
If you can understand me, I need you to surrender yourself into my custody. I'm a member of the... Suddenly, the strange creature lunges straight at Flobodosh. Shit! Alex, watch out! Oh, no, you don't! Oh! We can use Blue's team. You're, right. You're actually gonna let us do this. Does Blue have Pokeballs? Only you can reach into your bag. Okay, well, I need to sand attack this thing. Keep this thing occupied. Don't let it get to Flobodosh. What am I? Is damn guardian? Azoth-1 has the ability to absorb and assimilate genetic material. We can't let it get access to that special Pikachu's power. Pshh! That rat only got its power by taking it from Azoth in the first place. To me, it looks like Azoth is just taking back what Alex stole. Look, just don't let it get past you. Easy. I'll put this thing in the ground again. Wait, don't hurt them. Right now, we should be more worried about it hurting us. You're goddamn right. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, uh... This thing is just gonna one-shot me. Oh my god, I, I need to start. Oh, Dratini. Oh, Legacy. Right. I'm gonna go into Dratini. Keep holding on. I'm locking onto it now. Hey, hey, this thing just one-shot my Pokémon! How much longer do you need me to hold on? Alright, now we Legacy. Deoxys became paralyzed. Which is very important. Almost done charging. Get ready. Right, but... Hey, this isn't gonna hurt it, will it? Is that seriously your priority right now? It's torn through one of your Pokemon already. Can Twister flinch? It can. Uh, we're gonna try it. It's faster than me anyway. Trini fainted. Okay. Uh, Charmeleon, Ember, Smoke Screen, Dragon Rage, Steady Flame. Burns. Execute, Leech Seed, Bark Up. Also, it's basically just like Ingrain, but with a Bulk Up element or a Cosmic Power. Uh, Hypnosis, I can't use that. Gyarados, Bounce, Tackle, Thrash, Bite. I mean, I can stall with Bounce here. Or just go for the Bite. I should be able to outspeed it with Gyarados, actually. Okay, I'm done charging. Get out of the way. I'm not sure this is the only way, Nate. I mean, we've got Yellow, who can tell what Pokemon are feeling, and we've got Alex, who j Pokemon just listen to. Can't we try something else? Not until it calms down. And right now, it's in a frenzied state. It won't listen to us. Ugh, just, just hold off. One more round, alright? This thing's probably faster than me, I've just realized. Paralysis is only minus two. I don't think I'm able to beat this. Like, unless I bite and flinch. Yeah, it's just going to be faster and do that. Oh, get Eevee or Charmeleon, who's faster. Charmeleon is faster. Hey, you two, are you getting anything from it? It's completely shutting me out. It won't listen to me. It's just mindlessly attacking now. That's enough, B. If you don't move out of the way, you're going to be hurt by my attack. Wait, okay, just wait. You run away. B, what what are you doing? I'm trying to not solve my problems by battling. You ask me what I'd do if a Pokemon attacked me. If battling didn't work, well, here you go. Yellow, you're up. Azoth, we, we don't want to hurt you. We're just trying to take... We're not trying to take anything from you. We're just trying to... Fucking kill it. Ye Yellow? You quickly rush to Yellow's side. She's gasping for breath from the imminent impact of the creature's blow, but... Blue, she's still alive. Blue, I'll destroy you. You want to know what I'm sick of, Azar? I'm sick of your goddamn railroad of Diabolus Ex Machina. First, the super powerful rare Pokemon fell out of the sky and instantly latched onto my biggest rival. Then, my rival's common rat ate a bunch of meteorite shards and his Pokemon got a massive power boost. And now you fall out of the sky, get a Hypno to attack Yellow, and then hit her yourself? You're going to pay. Everyone has something. Some power, some gift, some friend that gives them an advantage over me. Look at where I'm standing. Alex has his Pikachu and Frenergy. Yellow can heal Pokemon. Nate's some kind of government spook. 
Even your other victims. Two of them are Esperus and one's a goddamn dragon. I am surrounded by the most powerful beings on the planet and I'm just a man. And every time I think I've caught up, something falls out of space and gets in my way. But you know what? I wasn't born with power. Everything I have, everything I've ever had, I earned and took. So guess what, space freak? I'm gonna take your power too. Die. Blue charges right at the creature. It, apparently not expecting this, stares at Blue with a sort of silent bewilderment on its emotionless face. Which promptly meets Blue's fist. Yeah! How'd you like that? Oh my god, he's actually going to die. Alright, gonna have to operate outside of the parameter out parameters I was assigned. Sir is really gonna thrash me for this one. Azoth 1, you have assaulted a human being. If you are capable of understanding the severity of that crime, you will stand trial. If you are not capable of understanding the severity of that crime, you will be restrained, retained, and released once it's determined you're no longer a threat. If you're in, you are instructed to stop fighting immediately, or I will use reasonable force to win this battle. If you've got something that can end this, then do it now! Azoth 1, under the authority of the International Police's Extraplanetary Affairs Bureau, I place you under a, under arrest. What? PWO5, initiate the Fermi's Answer Protocol. Yo, Genesect, it's one of my other favorite legendaries. What? What is that? My mission. PWO5, fire. <laughs> oh, that's sick. There's a tremendous crashing explosion sound, and your head rings as a huge wave of en energy blasts past you. But you seem to be okay. Oh. What? I've neutralized it using the powerful Techno Blast. It's no longer a threat. No. Again. What? Again, I'm not sure what you're asking. Blue looks at his hand and quickly folds his arms in front of him, sticking his chin out defiantly. Tell us everything. Now. No more bullshit. Half-truths. Lies of omission. Everything. I'll tell you everything I know. Easy stuff first, I guess. Call me Blake. My handler calls me Black Number Two, but that sounds like something you drop off in the toilet after drinking a lot of coffee, so I prefer Blake. What? Your, your name isn't even Nate? Nope, it's Blake. Blake Hall Jr. Blake Hall Jr. Not ringing a bell? Blake Hall? Wasn't he a country singer? Not exactly. Blake Hall. I guess that's not important. I, I don't know who this person is. <laughs> Unless it's Looker. Unless his name was Blake Hall. Something to do with Looker. I don't know. What is important is that I'm a member of the International Police. An agent, actually. I'm part of a task force that deals with interplanetary entities. Bull! You know many Pokemon trainers who carry around can-wielding robot bugs? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just because you have a special Pokemon doesn't mean that you're a cop. I'm not a cop, I'm an agent. Whatever. I was sent here by the International Police to investigate one of my classmates, but while I was here, that meteor fell. So that meteor... Yeah, but it wasn't just a meteor. It was actually a protective shell for an alien invader. I knew it! <laughs> no Skylar. <laughs> well, one point for Skylar. So, as I mentioned, this creature is codenamed Azoth by Interpol's EAB. We first discovered it when our scanners picked up a meteor headed towards Cobacon. The laddie ass you call T was sent to intercept it. Her family back home were the first people to recalculate the meteor's rebound location. Rebound location? This meteor fell once before, in Hoenn. It was gonna wipe out the region, cause untold death and destruction. But somehow it was deflected. Almost as though it hit a giant trampoline. All the governments of the world had their eyes on it, of course. So when the impact hour came and went, there was a mad scramble to find it. The astronomers of Altamari were the first to locate it. So Tia wasn't in the meteor, and it didn't hit her. Instead, she was trying to destroy it. But it broke apart before it ever hit the ground. Now, I'm sure you can guess what was inside then. I'm not quite sure what it is, though. This 
this is a Pokemon I can tell. Noted. Or should I say ND? You shouldn't! Tough crowd. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. So this... this Pokemon... That's what Gramps has been poking and prodding at for the past three weeks? Fragments of its protective shell, yeah. Its true power is much greater than even he could predict, though. So... This is what made the Foreverals. Blue looks at his hand again. <laughs> because he just fucking punched a Deoxys in the face! <laughs> just like... I just punched a Legendary in the face! <laughs> oh my god. Not many people can say that. I want to see art of that. Right, I know you guys pre- like, retroactively add art into the game. I need an art of Blue punching Deoxys in the face. It needs to happen. I'll pay for it myself to get it put in the game. It needs to happen. It needs to happen. I need to fucking see it, please. <laughs> and if you don't, I'll be disappointed. That's right. Really powerful Pokemon, sometimes generating aura and mysteriosity too. If it's been in this forest for weeks undisturbed, I can imagine that it probably caused this mystery dungeon too. But it's been here undisturbed for, for weeks, like you said. Is it really a threat? I couldn't tell you that, but my orders are to bring it in for study. And the fact that it first appeared in a meteor that could cause extinction level event isn't a good look for it. Not to mention that it punched you in the stomach. I don't get it. When I held the Foreverals, I felt a friendly power, like it wanted to give me what I wanted. If it's such a threat, why did they feel friendly? I don't know. I'm sorry. Can I? Afraid not. It seems to be able to assimilate genetic material onto itself and copy their abilities. We don't want to give it the ability to heal itself any time, you know? It might wake up now. Oh. So this thing is what caused all of this. One second. Sir, these readings. Extraterrestrial, definitely, but not extra-dimensional. This doesn't appear to be involved with the UB project. No, sir. I chose to disregard orders. The risk of... Yes, sir. Standard le leather protocol. I understand. I'll turn myself over to your authority as soon as I've contained Azoth-1. Nate crushes something in his hand. Bye, sir. When we were roommates, you actually listened to what I was saying. My problems are arresting international criminals and securing dangerous and unknown Pokemon from space. It was nice to listen to problems of your scale for once. I shouldn't have kicked you out of the dorm. Hey, it's alright. Now that my mission's complete, it's probably better that you cut the ties on before I have to wipe your memory anyway. What? Come on, you really didn't think that I was gonna reveal all this stuff and let you walk away with it, did you? Wipe our memories, huh? Can I opt out? Afraid not. Genesect. Down. <laughs> hey, sometimes when I do this, people, like, want to get something off their chest before everything gets wiped. You got any confessions to make? I'm your fool. Huh? Blue, I've been a fool. Wait, what are you? I've been trying so hard, Blue. I've been trying so hard to get you to show that you're a better person, and it's exhausting. Every inch of progress is something that I have to fight for for ages, and I hate fighting. I need... I need you to try harder. I know there's good in you. I've seen it. You saved me today, just like you did back then. But my friendship is not unconditional. If you don't try harder, I'm giving up. I, I can't be the only one who sees the best of you anymore. I'm sorry. That's just something I know I could never say if you actually remember it. I... I get it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to you, Yellow. I'm sorry to you, Alex. Neither of you deserve me. I'm sorry too. I should have tried harder to reach out when we were kids. Yeah, I was a kid, but I enjoyed your grandpa's attention. Maybe a bit too much. I'm sorry. Aww. I asked to dorm with you, Alex. Leaf and Ethan, too. And you, of course, Yellow. That's why Faulkner... That's why. He said no way, so I nagged him. Over and over and over. I thought if we were forced to live together... Then maybe... 
it's time. You'll wake up on campus with no memory of this morning's events. You remember going out into the forest, finding your friend and leaving, but nothing about Azoth 1 or me. Good. Let's get all this sappy shit out of our heads. How do we do this? You got a pen we can look at? Here come the men in black. They won't let you remember. Oh. Here come the men in black. Galaxy Defenders. <laughs> Oh, that was that was inappropriate. <laughs> Something like that. Go, BEM651. It's the little green man. The BHM. Bahiam. Three foot three, native to Unova. Evolved at level 42. Psychic type. And well known for being able to hypnotize people and erase and rewrite their memories. There it goes, the human Pokedex. I've been kind of off my game with all these new, never-before-seen Pokémon. I'm just reminding myself that I'm really good when it comes to common Pokémon. Man, sending out your Pokémon? I normally don't bother, but since why I can talk to Pokémon, I've got to think about that too. I can't talk to Pokémon. My bad. Hasta la vista, guys. I hope the next time I see you, they give me a friendlier personality. Wait, what? Hey? Eh? Close your eyes. Alright, now teleport him back to campus. You wait for a numbness, or a blindness, or a lack of something. But oddly enough, you don't feel anything. Okay, I still remember going into the forest, rescuing yellow, blue's apology. If Nate, like, didn't wipe that, what did he wipe? It's not gonna have worked on him, is it? Huh? <sighs> hmm. What were we talking about? We were... We were going to train, right? I thought we were going on a picnic. Well, yeah, obviously. Come on, let's go. Okay, bye, Alex. Bye? That was bizarre. I swear I still remember everything, right? Buddy, do you remember what just happened? Pega? What? <laughs> Guess you don't, huh? You spend a while racking your brains, trying to remember what you forgot. No such luck. Well, I can't think of anything else to do, so... Alex? What are you doing? Are you back at school already? Yeah, we, uh... We found Yellow. What? Oh, jeez, Ethan is not gonna be happy. He was hiking through the forest for four hours for nothing. We were what? Gotta take this. Sorry, see you back at the dorm then. Yeah, see you there. Oh, that reminds me. I should probably... Let's see. Sabrina? Alex. Hey, I found Yellow. And you know about Blake? I guess so, but I don't think I should. Did you have anything to do with that? No, nothing at all. I try to stay as far away from Blake as possible. It's dangerous for me to be around him. Yeah, I can understand that. Anyway, since I found yellow, you can come back. Yes, we'll be coming back shortly. Well, now what? Looks like I've got some time to kill. Yes, you do. you got an evening to enjoy, my friend. Go enjoy it. Make bread while the sun shines and all that. We've got some scenes that we need to take care of as well. We've got, obviously, Sonia. And we've got Raihan for some reason. But I don't really want to do... Actually, you know what? Raihan's kind of going to be easier on my voice. Because he's just going to do fucking this voice all the time. So let's go, shall we? Actually, let me, before I do anything, check my uh, traits. Let me check my traits. Let me check my traits. Oh my god, we got dark to level 10.5, which isn't enough for Absol to level up. Which is very sad. Yeah, go on, let's find Ryan. Let's find Ryan. Let's go looking for Ryan. You're walking across campus when you suddenly hear the sound of very heavy footfalls behind you, as though someone's running up. Onzi, you don't look busy. Actually, I am. Oh, all right. <laughs> let's
let's try that again, shall we? Let's try that again. That's really funny. I'm sorry. Oh, that's really funny. Oh, so you don't look busy. You're right. Brill. Think fast. Good catch. What? What is this? It's what you get for winning against me in the battle hall. It's a badge. You gained the dragon badge of Galar. What? Really? Wait, that wasn't an official gym bat challenge, right? Might as well have been. You don't have any badges, right? Well, no. Well, the team I fought you with is kind of the team I might use against the trainer who already has a badge, so you beat me at my better. Fair play, mate. I don't... I don't know if I can accept this. There aren't a lot of clear wins out there, mate. Kinda nettles me to see someone turning one down, you know. Consider it the start of your collection. If you end up where I think you will, I'd like to say you think you weren't. I'd like to say you weren't your first badge off of me. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Ryan. Don't thank me, mate. You beat me fair and square. Seems I could learn from you. Well, no way. You're the eighth gym leader of the major circuit in Galar, right? I'm sure there's tons I could learn from you. Learn from me, huh? I don't know about that. You know what my record is against Leon? Hmm. Seventeen nothing. Hey, give me a little credit. It's only 10 nil. Oh, sorry. I don't really keep up to date on champion affairs. Probably saves you a lot of time, yeah? Oh, that reminds me. Selfie time? Sure. Nice smile. You're pretty photogenic. When I was younger, I was really self-conscious about my teeth, so I just brushed them really well every day and trained myself to show all my teeth when I smile. Yeah, cute story. Feel like telling me one? Hmm. A story. Trade you for more info on your Pikachu. Sure. Started taking them after I became a gym leader. Actually, if you scroll back far enough on my Roto Photo account, you can see my first few pictures. Blurry, out of focus, shoddy work. I was a total amateur back then. Didn't even have a custom photography lens. I was just using the bog standard Roten phone at the time. I've, I've got a granddad. Right ferocious fella. Takes battling seriously. More than anything else. I'm hoping and praying that that old geezer that I gave the Cockney accent to, that I fought in the battle hall, is Raihan's grandfather, but I'm doubting it. I'm very much doubting it, but that would be so fitting. He asked me to take a picture of myself after me battle with Leon. Somebody remember me win by, you know? Well, I didn't. That blasted Charizard of his. I'm sure you've heard about it. But I wasn't going to let him get... I wasn't going to... But I wasn't going to let him down, right? I took that picture anyway. The old codger asked me why I was smiling. I'd lost, right? I'd nothing to be smiling about. Truth is, I didn't even think about the fact I was smiling. You smile when you have a picture taken. Didn't think it through more than that. Anyway, my granddad told me to stick that picture up where I'll see it every day. So I did, right there on my office wall at the gym. Something to look at when my mind wanders. I stuck the next one there too. And the next one. I think Grandad wanted me to have those pictures as a reminder of my failures. I don't know. He's an odd man. Harder than me Duraliodon. But you know, all I saw was a handsome guy smiling at me. And in the background of each of them, my rival, my best friend Leon was there. And you'd never notice this unless you were looking really close. But he looked more tired in each photo. I ran him harder each time. I got a bit closer. Those pictures weren't reminders of my failure at all. They were reminders of my progress. Still, I wanted a couple pictures that weren't a failure, you know? Not good for your brain to just be seeing your losses over and over. I took more pictures. Of wins, sometimes of other losses. Of really good meals, sometimes. Nessa would drop by once in a while, as she noticed. She suggested I start posting stuff online. I was a new gym leader. Untested, unknown. Emma Lock Stadium could do with a PR boost, you know? She talked to some of her people, some of the photographers and website designers she worked with, and they sat me out with some better equipment. Got me on rota photos and the rest. <laughs> guess the rest is history. Huh. Yeah, I guess you could say I kind of fell into it. I think a lot of people out there, at least the ones who comment on me photos, think that I'm kind of mad about all those losses I've racked up. And that's mad in the Galarian sense. Mad as in potty, loony, off me rocker. But nah. I'll keep it real. I'm having fun. Leon's the best rival a guy like me could ask for. And I'm still young. I got time. You mentioned when we first met that Lance was an idol of yours. 
Yeah, I'd never met the guy, of course. Shame how he turned out. Guess I saw him as a kindred spirit, but there are a few big differences between us. I never stopped having fun, and I never tried the same strategy twice. Really? Real. I've tried weather teams, I've tried double, single, even rotation battles. I went in with a team of level, a five level one Rattata and my Duraludon once. <laughs> that one was embarrassing. I'm trying to fear it, trying to do the, uh, the Endeavor strat. <laughs> anyway, I guess that's the big difference between Lance and I. He tries the same thing over and over and fair play it worked for him. Not sure I want to get into his number of attempts, but not that there's anything wrong with that of course, but I'll just run out of space on me wall. <laughs> you know Raihan, you really surprised me. Oh yeah? How so mate? I'm kind of a country boy, so I didn't really know what an influencer did, or what it was to be honest. But I had, hadn't heard good stuff. But you seem great. There are a lot of bad apples out there that give us bad names. It's kind of like being a street performer at the end of the day. Only difference is our street is the entire world. What do you mean? Think of it like this. What does a great Raihan produce? Like, what product do I sell? <laughs> I have no idea. Trick question anyway. I mean, besides the odd water bottle or commemorative jumper, I don't make anything tangible. Food critics or movie critics do similar stuff. They provide opinions. In theory, they help you guide your own. Now, a lot of blokes just take the critics or influencers opinion and make it their own. But we would hope that our opinions are just the foundation, not the whole structure. A lot of influencers then provide opinions, right? He's weirdly passionate about this, huh? I like to think that my unique position as a gym leader means that I get to provide something of even more value than an opinion, though. I want to give people hope. Leon's undefeatable, he really is. But as long as I keep battling him, I give all the kids in Galar hope. You should see my demo info. Demo info? Right, demographics information. Means the kind of people that follow my accounts, young, old, men, women, jobs, that kind of stuff. There's a lot of middle-aged housewives there. Bunch of businessmen who are over the hill. Little kids that dream they'll be the next Leon. I want to give them all hope. Give them all the hope that I have. Not the hope that they can beat Leon, but that one day I'll beat Leon. And then they can beat me. Of course, there's only so much I can do just taking pictures and popping on captions, but accepting defeat against the undefeatable Leon would be letting down the Fang Gang. That's not going to happen anytime soon. No matter what. Huh? That's weird. Why was I about to say that? What? I was all but ready to tell you something I generally keep pretty close to my chest. <laughs> I wonder what that's about. Oh. Right, I guess you weren't here. Uh, look, I have this thing called Frenergy, and you're pulling me leg. Come on, you told everyone in the world about Frenergy. I watched you defeat Burlitz, remember? Oh. Oh, right. Interesting to see its effects for myself, though. <laughs> or feel them, I guess. I do feel pretty chill around you. I don't know. You seem like a pretty chill guy. Maybe that's just you. Yeah, well, you've seen me in battle. You know how unchill I get, then. Is the roaring you do in battle a marketing thing? Sort of. Did it once in battle without really thinking about it. Got like 70 messages on me, wrote a photo account the next day telling me how sexy it was. The great Raihan always listens to fan feedback. Oh, sometimes my gym trainers need to drag me out of my office to take on other challenges. Busy managing my accounts or planning my next run at Leon. <laughs> but it's fun and I've never left a challenger waiting for more than 10 minutes. Actually, Amalok Stadium has such a good record, even the chairman of Galar League used to commend us. Speaking of the devil, sorry, gotta take this phone call. As Raihan holds his phone up to his ear, his voice takes on a much more flat and uninterested tone. Kasib speaking. Kasib? Yep, yeah, as I said in my last report, everything's fine here. Drayden is steady-handed, competent, and respected by his students and co-workers. Yes, that's the situation as I've seen it. If you don't believe my report, I'd ask why you sent me out here. No, Chairman, I'm, I'm very grateful. That won't be necessary. My reports are accurate and full. And how's the substitute doing? Great. Right hand out. You wait patiently as Raihan breathes out deeply. 
a rumbling growl in his throat. His foot bounces rapidly before finally slowing to a stop as he stomps on the ground, huffing. Right, I've had just enough of that man-man. Uh, let's try that again. Right, I've had just about enough of that man, mate. From context, Chairman Rose. Big wig, big wig at a Galar League. My boss, and a bloody fascist if you ask me. He sent you here to check on Cobra Khan Academy's status? No, it was just good luck that I happened to be near something he wanted an eye on. Since I was already off of gym duties, I figured I'd drop by and see Sonny and Ness. I didn't plan to stay here, as you know, but I guess it works out. Why were you off of your gym duties, though? Rose doesn't like me. He didn't like when Leon endorsed me years ago. Doesn't like how I run me gym. Doesn't like anything about me. He calls this a paid vacation, but he appointed a substitute. Some rockstar twink he picked up in the Lola. Rockstar from a Lola. Who's that gonna be? Who's a rockstar from a Lola? Hmm. I can't think. I can't think. You don't appoint a substitute if you're expecting the old guy to come back. It's frustrating because I don't even know what I'm doing wrong. I mean, I don't win too often, don't lose too often. We keep the stadium swept and clean. I wear the logos he pins up everywhere, never said a bad word about him in public. I don't even think it's a class thing. Sure, he's rich as a dragon now, but he used to be a coal miner. Wait, so Rose kicked you out of your gym? Hey, 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 keep it down, please. That's not the kind of story I want to post off on my photos, you get it? It's not like I can give people hope if they figure out I'm one bad day away from losing that job. Ah, sorry. It's alright, now I'm done. Onzi? Yeah? Can you think of a reason why Rose might not like me? I get a feeling you've got more of an handle on specific people's feelings, even if I have more experience with groups. That's tough to say. Without more details about your case, the best I can give is a guess, but I think... He's jealous of your sexy, sexy body. <laughs> he thinks you're unprofessional. He, he won't, though. Maybe he does. He's worried you'll beat Leon. Yeah, maybe that's it. Seriously? I mean, I like hearing that, but I really don't know about that one. I might need to put in a bit more thought. Maybe I should ask Ness. She has a way of cutting it to the bone of any issue. If there's an inconvenient truth, she knows it. And he's always willing to share it. Yeah, maybe. Hey, think you could talk to her for me? What? You're friends. You knew each other since you were kids, right? Why don't you just ask yourself? Truth is, I don't really want her to know the old thing going up on with me job right now. And if I asked her, she'd immediately know what's up. Huh. Back in the day when we were the Galarian star, she told us not she told us not to do what we did. Well, not exactly that. She didn't say don't do this, she said this is what will happen if you do do it. She's a Cassandra, you know. Always right, eventually. Probably wishes she wasn't. And I'm totally fine admitting when I lost, but if I could find a way to patch this all over before I tell her, you feel me? Yeah, alright. Your understanding of Nessa deepened. A little bit. One problem though. Historically, I've been pretty awful at keeping secrets. Like, second to Sabrina in terms of awfulness. Well, do your best if you can. Alright, but no promises. Hey, thanks. You know how to contact me. I'm just a quick search away on the internet. Ping me whenever if you just want to chat. I still got a few more questions about that Pikachu of yours. Yeah, mate, we got a fucking influencer's number. Let's go. Sure. I'll reach out. Cool. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Evolve from acquaintance to mate. <laughs> yes, mate. All right, mate. How you doing, mate? <laughs> Here's me to rock and dragon Pokemon. Cool. Nice. <laughs> oh, that was fun. I enjoy doing this voice. It's just easy. Enough time passes and you're unsure what there is left to do. Bereft of other ideas, you decide to head back to your dorm. When an announcement over the loudspeaker cuts through the mild fog of confusion you've been stumbling through. Oh, 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 the Great Will requests the presence of Sabrina Natsume, Bianca Von Gurley, and Alex Wandy in the Psychic Collective classroom. At this time of the evening? Yes, at this time of the evening. Job, job now. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> For God's sake. Ah, the man of the hour. I'm sorry. I'm not sure what the occasion is. Ah, modest to a fault. No, I'm just genuinely lost here. Pish and tosh. You rescued all three of us this week, young Alex Wandy. And that's not a favor we yes, but she'll soon forget. Now, Sabrina has told me that you're having a few uh, monetary concerns in regard to Kubicon. I'm sorry. He asked if I knew of any problems I could help with. It's cool. In any case, for your help in rescuing us, I wanted to make sure that you were aware of an opportunity. There's a certain scholarship that I have the honor of being able to hand out every year. The Mind Scholarship for Promising Psychic Students. Huh? Typically, it's given to Espers. Indeed, I fully intended to give it to dear Bree here, but we talked it over, and it seems that you may need it a good amount more than her. Wait, Instructor Will, are you saying... You may not be a frequent student of mine, but Tia has spoken highly of you. You saved us from that awful, smelly, rotting forest, and that's enough for me. What? Nah. You earned the Mind Scholarship for Promising Psychic Students. Oh my god. Thank you, Professor. Thank you so much. That means a tremendous amount to me. You... Yes, that will pay a whole eighth of your tuition. What? <laughs> that face. What? <laughs> oh? What's that face about? You didn't think the scholarship would pay for your entire tuition, did you? I entertained the thought. Ha <laughs> ha, no. I'm afraid the adventure's not quite over yet. Okay. Well, still, that's really helpful. Thank you, Instructor Will. Of course. Now, I believe Sabrina wanted to say something, didn't you, Bree? Why are you blushing? I... You, you saved me. And the instructor. And I think maybe I was a bit harsh before when I told you to stay away. I stress situation. I get it. I want to say thank you properly. So, th thank... <sighs> Come now, Bree. There's nothing embarrassing about this. Thank you. Oh, look at that smile. Look at that smile. That's the smile of a happy lady right there. Thank you, Alex. She's so happy. She's very happy. And that's how we end the night, is it? Is that how we end the night? Alright, I give up. That doesn't seem like you. Can it? You know what I'm talking about. Well, I don't. Share with the class? Yeah, what's happening? This was a private conversation. It's not private when you're yelling through the walls, honey. Um, I'm pretty tired from today, so do you mind if we... I spent all morning getting dragged around by Loaf, and then it turns out the person we were looking for is back at school. I got so much adrenaline, it was just wasted. Like, I'm glad you're alright, but I'm not going to bed until, like, tomorrow. It already is tomorrow, though. But everyone just shut up. I'm trying to talk to Alex. Blue, did you just tell me to shut up? Uh, no, 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 sorry, I, not you specifically. It was more of a general purpose stop talking, not directed at anyone in particular. You keep your ears open, but Blue's voice trails off and the conversation seems to end for the night. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, he's in the doghouse. Uh. And on that lovely, lovely note, that is where we're going to end this episode of Pokemon Academy Life. So thank you very much for watching this one. This one's been very, very fun to watch, uh, to basically read through today. So yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, do all the YouTube things uh, if you want to, of course. If not, that's fine as well. But I will see you back here for another one tomorrow. Catch you later, guys. Bye-bye.